I'm the bad guy. Duh. Hello, everybody, and I am back here in the fandom zone. It is the most earth-breaking, ground-shaking, but never media show money-taking, the man, the myth, the legend, the most electrifying villain on YouTube entertainment today, Mr. General Zod. So why am I here? You notice in my intro I say, never media show money-taking. So I'm sure when I get the comments, it'll probably appear that way. But listen to this video before I go into my review and why I feel the way I feel. So, I'm doing a review on Onward, but before I start with my review, which will be short, because I don't want to spoil anything, I wanted to say that uh, a few people in various YouTube channels have gone out of their way to call out this thing uh, that's been going on with a hundred angry moms and nonsense like that. And, you know, it really aggravates me because these are people that I do enjoy their content but for this geeks and gamers and world class bullshitters I'm going to have to call you wrong for your way that you presented your videos I understood the perspective for which they explain stuff but at the same time why are we highlighting this as a story and saying that this is a Disney thing look I went and saw the movie and I hate when people cover things and they haven't even seen the film. Because I very much doubt uh, any of these people covering this have actually gone to see the movie. Maybe they have, maybe they haven't. But I haven't seen a review on their channel. I've seen the movie twice. And I'm going to say what I've said in other videos. If you haven't seen the fucking movie, don't take a side one way or the other. Look, Disney has been doing this thing with uh, this representation, okay? But in this movie, there was not a whole character in the film that was gay. There was a reference, a very small, if you're not paying attention, you'd miss it, reference in this film. Now, granted, uh, the company highlighting it, I can understand that. You know, I can understand, it, you know, if the company comes out and says something like that. But this is a group of idiots coming out and saying stuff. And, you know, the, the disrespect on both ends really offends me. When I do my videos, I will call out SJW pandering bullshit nonsense, okay? When it's visible in the movie, all right? Watch my Doctor Who review, Okay. I will call out when something destroys a product. But this is an original Disney property. And to be honest with you, this is probably one of the best Pixar releases I've seen recently. I would top this over Toy Story because Toy Story 4 was not needed. Okay? Not to say it wasn't good. It just wasn't needed. Okay? And I find it really funny how people who do not have anything else to go back to want to attack Disney constantly. Look, we all know what Disney is, okay? They're going to do what they're going to do. And if it's a movie that features a bunch of political nonsense, then sure, it's worth calling out. But if, when it's a film where throughout every single film, going back to Shrek, there's been uh, adult-type jokes in it, really, we're calling out this nonsense it's ridiculous. So I'm going to give you a non-biased review of the movie Onwards. Or Onward. And you guys can take what you will from it. And you know what? Don't even listen to my opinion. Go and see the movie yourself. Uh, these people need to stop fucking judging everything. That they de haven't even taken the time and effort to even sit down and watch. And honestly, I don't care who likes or dislikes this opinion. You know, I, I just call it how I see it. You know, if you're going to call out uh, one side, you have to call out the other side when there's a ridiculous antics going on. And quite honestly, it's kind of ridiculous highlighting something so small in an honestly good movie. And I'm going to break down why this movie is good. So here's my overview. Onward is a story about... Uh, some kids in this magical land that has forgotten magic. And now they're very much like our modern era with technology and uh, the 
the youngest one, played by Tom Holland, uh, finds a wizard staff that his father had left for him and attempts to do a spell to bring his father back for a day and only brings back half of him. So our adventure kicks off from there. Uh, so what are my, uh, my pros and my cons? I'm going to start with my cons first, which I know is unusual, but let's just get it out of the way. My cons is this. This isn't the normal Pixar film where it kind of starts off exciting right away. There's exciting moments and things like that, but this movie actually does what regular movies does, and it builds the adventure, and the big emotional stuff doesn't happen till the end of the film. There's a lot of a little emotional things that are going on, but and I, and I feel like that is kind of a flaw in the storytelling because it does take uh, a bit for the story to kick up. But once it does, there is some fun to be had with this film. My other complaint about this movie is that um, it's lacking some kind of stuff that Pixar normally does. I can't quite put my finger on it. Uh, something with the magic of Toy Story and, and the other things that Pixar has put out where it took me a while to get on board. But once I did, and once I understood what the themes were going to be of this movie, uh, it had me hooked. So let me go to my pros. My pros are this. There's finally a story by Disney about fathers and their sons. There's two main really big themes, and it's fathers and their sons and brothers and their relationship. And I think that the biggest thing that pisses me off about these videos coming out is if people watch the movie, this is the first Disney product to actually have a family kind of theme in their movies. We've gotten repurposed Lion King, Aladdin and stuff. It was an original content, okay? It's just the Disney machine cranking out remakes. This was the first thing, not by Disney, but still owned by them, where there was an actual original story with an original message. Now, you could pick apart and say some elements aren't original, but what isn't? The, the core foundation is the relationship between the two brothers. And there's something that happens at the movie that, I'm not going to lie, if you have a brother, you will call them up and tell them how much you love them. If you have a mother and father at home, you're going to call up your dad and tell him how much you love him. And I think that's important because as a father, I thoroughly enjoyed the fact that this focus on the relationships between uh, fathers and their sons and maybe, you know, the, the something happens and the son doesn't remember you or they don't have a memory of you. And it's that feeling of the child wanting to have that connection with their parents. There's a lot of deep themes in this. And I think that this is the first movie that I've seen them put out that's a really deep, thought-provoking film for an animated feature, okay? And I think that reviewers need to stop coming out and basing all of their opinions or... Uh, sites that cover entertainment need to just stop coming out and putting out a half-assed opinion before you actually go and see the movie. Okay, I meant to get this up a couple of nights ago, but all in all, the movie is good. It's touching. It's funny. There's a particular scene with Pixies. Yes, I kid you not. Pixies, you've seen the trailer. I'm not spoiling anything, but they're like bikers. It is hilarious. It's good, like, ten solid minutes of the movie, and they come back again. It's hilarious. Um, Octavia and Spencer as the uh, Chimera, or the Quest Giver, is hilarious. And uh, she brings a lot of good comedic aspects. Everything in this story is well handled. There is not one side saying, oh, fathers are bad, and the father left. It wasn't nothing like that. It's not saying that mothers can do everything themselves, but it's showing what happens when a family is missing a piece and how they move on and how they deal with not having that figure in their life. 
and how it's tough on all members of the family. And I think this is the first film to have a good moral message, finally, that highlights the struggle that families go through that have tragedy happen to them because the circumstances surrounding the father, I'm not ruining it, it's in the trailers, but there's a, they, he passed away before the boy, these boys were born, and then that all comes full circle at the end of the movie. I think it was a good movie, the animation was good. Um, the final thing that happens, I felt like was kind of forced in, they needed a big uh, dramatic fight scene at the ending, but the core story has its head in the right place. I think if you have kids, they're going to enjoy all the bright colors and the different creatures. And if you're an adult, you can actually sit down and dissect this movie for the message that it's saying. And subliminally, what it's telling kids about families and about siblings and how uh, your siblings could be just as important in your life as your family. And coming up from, with two brothers, I respected and admired what this movie tried to do. Uh, I think it's a bunch of horse shit that the movie is being attacked. And I think these people need to get off their high fucking horse. And we need to chill and save our energy for something that warrants it. Like Doctor Who. R.I.P. Doctor Who. You had a good run. Anyways, if you like this video, hit the like button. If you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button. If you've seen this movie yourself, tell me in the comments below what you think, what you like, what you didn't like. Please don't spoil it for anyone who hasn't seen the film. And uh, if you disagree with my comments I've made about uh, what people are saying, fuck off. I don't care. Anyways... As always, this has been General Zod, and you remember the only rule here in the Fandom Zone, kneel before General Zod. I'm the bad guy. Duh.